you all are fine and in this situation you are staying at home and staying safe today we will discuss all about map now we are familiar with the word globe map atlas etc so let us see what is globe the art is represented on a small scale through globe so we all know that globe is a true replica of the art and it shows continent water bodies countries uh, cities important cities within the countries next is what is map a map can be defined as the representation of the art or a part of it on a flat piece of paper so the art fully or a part of it is represented on a flat piece of paper through map map can be of the whole art that is the map of world or can be a part of it for example map of india map of australia etc it is a special drawing of how an area would look from above so the shape of countries or continents what we are seeing in the map is actually the drawing of how they are looking from above now what does a map show a map shows height of the land depth of the sea mountains plateaus plains rivers they also give us specialized information such as weather agriculture industries roads and railways so these are the different things which a map shows next what is an atlas many of you have seen an atlas so what is an atlas a bunch of maps in a book form is called an atlas now the features or elements of a map so all maps have five basic features they are number 1 title number 2 direction number 3 scale number 4 regions and symbols and number 5 grid let us discuss the first feature that is title so what is the title of a map the title of a map tells us what kind of a map it is and what information it is providing for example if a title of a map says india physical that means the map which is shown is of india and it is showing the physical features of india the next feature is direction how we came to know about the direction by seeing a map if you look carefully at a map you will find a line with an arrow drawn above it and the letter n written above it this line you can find either in the upper right hand side corner or at the bottom of the map this line is called north line and it is indicating the direction north now once you identify the direction north so you can identify you can know that the direction opposite it is south once you identify the north direction 
So you came to know the opposite will be south. The right hand side will be east and the left hand side will be west. Okay. This four direction that is north, south, east and west are called cardinal directions. So cardinal directions are Cardinal directions are north, south, east, and west. Apart from, from these four cardinal directions, there are other four directions. This in between north and east, there is north east. In between south and east, there is southeast. In between south and west, there is southwest. And in between north and west, there is northwest. So these directions are called intermediate directions. So what are intermediate directions? Let us see. Northeast. Southeast. Southwest and Northwest. Now come to the third feature that is scale. So we all know that the size of the earth is huge and we cannot represent the original size on a piece of paper because such a huge size of paper is not available. So what we have to do? We have to reduce the size so that we can draw it on a piece of paper. Now, this reduction should not be done haphazardly. It should be done accurately and one must be very careful about it. So in order to reduce the size, what we need? We need a scale. So what is a scale? A scale is a ratio between the distance, that is between two places on a map and the actual ground distance between the same two places. For example, if I tell the scale of a map is 2 cm to 1 that means 2 cm of the map is representing 1 km on the ground. Why the scale of a map is needed? The scale of a map is needed to measure the distance between two places. Come to the next feature that is widget and symbols. So, on a map, to indicate different features, some symbols and colors are being used. For example, on physical map, colors are used to represent different landforms and water bodies. So, to express various features on a map, different colors, signs and symbols are used. Now, these colors and symbols are shown in a small box, usually at the bottom right hand or left hand side corner of the map. This box is called widget. Now, come to the fifth feature that is grid. So, here you can see that there are some 
some lines which are running from north pole to south pole and some are running from east to west and these two lines are forming a square like shape this square is called grid so a grid is formed by the intersection of a set of horizontal lines and a set of vertical lines such a network of squares or grid is drawn on maps to help locate places easily so in order to locate the place easily this kind of grid is drawn on a map so types of maps so here four types of maps are being discussed Number one is political maps. It shows countries, cities, state, district, etc. Next is physical map. This map shows landform and water bodies through various colors. Next come to climatic map. This map shows the weather conditions such as temperature, pressure. rainfall etc next is thematic map this type of map is based on a particular theme for example vegetation population forest cover etc now the importance of maps so maps are many importance here some are of the discussed so number 1 is map provide accurate information of art partly or wholly next they are useful for government organization for planning of roads bridges or other buildings next maps are very important tools for the army to plan their defense against enemy attacks along its borders now we will know about sketch and plan so what is a sketch a sketch is basically a rough drawing of a small area so a sketch is a rough drawing of a small area showing only some landmarks to help us to locate a place without correct measurements or symbols so sketch is a rough drawing it showing only some landmarks suppose in a area some important landmarks are being shown and the sketch is drawn without any scale or any symbols next is plan a plan it is also a drawing of a small area but with correct measurement so a plan is a drawing of a small area like a building or compound but with correct measurements and all details so here all the details of that area is being given so here we came to the end of the chapter here some of some of, some of the questions are given which you can solve at home so number 1 what is a map what are the different things it can show number 2 what are the four cardinal and intermediate directions number 3 define scale what is the scale of a map used for number 4 why are colors and symbols used in maps and number 5 state two ways in which maps